plate. Hi, Hi and, and welcome, welcome to, to Vincenzo's plate. Oh yeah, with Maria's plate. And Vincenzo's what plate. What are we doing today, Maria? We're going to make our most amazing leg of lamb roast. Ooh, How does that sound? Fantastic. Maria <laughs> made it for me the first time. Is this a Calabrese style? Well, it's my style. Your style? Yeah. Ah, the first yeah. time she made it for me, I said, okay, you are the master of lamb. Oh, so today, thank you. you're going to learn how to make the best yeah. leg of lamb. And what a perfect time of the year. Oh yeah. We've got Christmas around the corner. So it's all happening. Happening. Yes. Okay, so how are we going to make this leg of lamb roast? Well, of course, our main ingredient, which is our leg of lamb, we have some chicken stock, we've got some red wine, salt and pepper, celery, carrot, onion, rosemary, basil, sage, and some garlic. So, Maria, what do we do first? Okay, we're going to get our leg of lamb ready to put into our pot. So, firstly, we're going to sear it, and then we're going to put it in the oven. Okay. So. Get our leg of lamb and I'm going to put some salt and pepper. Be very generous, huh? So let's put some salt. Very generous. Very generous with the salt. Turn it around and do the same on the other side. A, gen right. a generous amount of salt. On both sides, yeah. Nice. And also pepper. Lovely ground pepper. Beautiful. I love the smell of pepper. Oh, so do I. Now what I like to do is actually just get some, put some slits into it. That also helps it cook more even. Because that's a bad, that's a and ex the exterior part of the lamb. Absolutely. So let's start by putting some garlic. Oh wow. The whole piece. Oh yes, let's be nice and generous. And some rosemary. Right inside. Oh yeah. Some basil. And don't worry about cutting this up, just very rustic. You like it rustic? Oh definitely. And on the other side also. Okay, you cut some it. more garlic. It's nice big chunky pieces. Oh yeah. Again, some rosemary. So the rosemary gives the beautiful and flavor. Absolutely. The rosemary is maybe the most important ingredient. Well, it is, especially when you're cooking lamb. For some reason, the um, lamb is just perfect with rosemary. Yeah, it, it does love the rosemary. Yes. And we do the same with our basil. Look how beautiful this basil is. Look mm. at that leaf. The garden. It's amazing. You can always tell when something's homegrown. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now we've got our leg of lamb ready so what we're also going to do now is put some extra virgin olive oil into our pot now try and use a pot that you can actually sear it on the hot plate first okay and then put the same pot into your oven just makes life so much easier oh look at that color it's amazing so we've got our leg of lamb roast ready and what we're going to do now is we're, we're going to put it into our nice hot pan, okay, and sear it. Oh yes, you can hear it sizzling. How good is that? So for about three minutes on each side, this is a good size, so hopefully that'll be long enough. Three minutes on each side? Well, it's a, it's a, depending on the size of your, um, of your lamb roast. And we want to make sure that it's nice and brown on each side. So let's get out the remainder of our ingredients ready to put in our pot once we finish searing. So just be very generous with the way you cut your, your vegetables. They don't have to be small by no means. So nice and chunky. And you peeled the carrots already? I did peel the carrots. The reason why I peeled it, it's different if you've got vegetables that are fresh from your garden. And if you have, don't worry about peeling them. Mm, true. Okay, so look how lovely and chunky they are. I'd say that's about three minutes. So let's just turn our leg of lamb to the other side. And let's brown the other side off before we add our ingredients and pop it in the oven. You happy with the colour? Perfect. Looks fantastic, yeah. Yep. Looks so good <laughs> when you cook lamb, Maria. You think so? 
so Vincenzo. So let's just add the remainder of our ingredients, our lovely cut up onion, carrots, and celery. Lovely big chunky. We're going to add some more of our rosemary and just be generous with it. My God, and the flavors of rosemary are taking over the kitchen. And our sage. Wow, that's when you put the sage, yeah. Yeah. And also rosemary. And we've got some, a little bit of garlic left over. So we can add that. More flavors. We also put about a cup of chicken stock. And a nice generous amount of red wine. Which wine do you recommend, Maria? I definitely re recommend a red wine with lamb. Red wine, okay. Yes. Like a Merlot. A little bit more salt. You like it salty, do you? Well, I think we need, especially in those, the remainder of those ingredients that we've put in. And pepper. Wow. The red wine actually infuses all the other flavors that you've got, like your garlic and your rosemary and your sage. It just works in perfectly together. Well, Vincenzo, this smells absolutely amazing. The, it's like a perfume. It actually, I can already taste that leg of lamb. What we're going to do now is we're going to cover it. Okay, we're going to put it in an oven that's been preheated to 120 degrees Celsius for about three hours. But when, when it comes to about half time, we're going to check it and we're going to turn that, that leg of lamb roast to the other side. So it all cooks evenly. Here we go. Okay, we'll be waiting for you when you're absolutely all cooked for us for dinner. After it's ready, after your three hours, it's perfection on a plate. Vincenzo, we're halfway there. So what I like to do is I like to turn it when it's about half cooked. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, that smell oh, is so good. It looks good, yeah. but the smell is much better. <laughs> okay. What do we do now? We're going to turn it very slowly so we don't spill all the juices everywhere. At this point, it should be nice and uh, moist inside, Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So what I like to do is those beautiful juices that are in the pot, I like to just pour them over the roast and continue baking for the remainder of the time. Is there a reason why you chose chicken stock? Um, I just find that the chicken stock has got more flavor than the other stock, but then it's a personal thing. You can either put beef or you can put vegetable stock. Oh, Maria, Maria, Maria. <laughs> Are we ready? Come and have a look at this beauty. Come and have a look. Are ready you ready? For the first, wait, Are wait, you ready? ready for the moment? Are you ready, ready Vincenzo? Let's open it. Let's open it, Maria. Yeah, look at the steam. <laughs> Three hours of love, Maria. Look at the sage over there. Saying hello. <laughs> look at that. Look at this beautiful meat, Maria. It yes. is. Yes. Yeah. Look at that. Can you make a hole, Maria? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what's happening when you make a hole. Oh, yes. Look at the juice coming out. Look at that beautiful juice coming out. Look at that. Maria, that's a good sign, eh, Maria? It is a good sign. It's a very it good sign. It is a good sign. Look at those flavors. The carrot is perfect. All right. Okay. We have to eat it, Maria. We have to eat right now. Hey, Maria. Cheers. Cheers. Well done. Thank you for making an amazing You're dinner You're welcome. For us. You're welcome. Now we can enjoy. I the three of us are going to have this beautiful dish. So look. So let me get this. So Maria, can I cut it? I'm going to give you the honors of cutting it All tonight. right. Let's get this beautiful piece of lamb, look at the juice coming out. Let's have a look. How cooked it is. Oh, look how perfectly cooked it is in there. So Maria and Suzanne, they don't like, they don't like medium rare, eh Maria? I we do like don't, we prefer it just medium. And look at this, this is beautiful, medium. Look how beautiful it is, Maria. Look at the perfection, look how beautiful you cooked it. Eh hey, Maria, look. Can you see how moist it is? It's looking good. Can you tell how moist this is? Look at that, look at that. It's looking look good. Look. It's all about the taste. Look at that beautiful piece, oh, Maria. Look at that beautiful piece. That's of just lamb. perfect for you, Vinny. Do we put a little bit of vegetables on top, Maria? We can. Okay. And then we'll put the juice on top. Okay. So I'll get the vegetables. Yeah. Just like that on top, Maria? Yeah, that's perfect. Just on top? Yeah. And go with the, go with the sauce. I will. Beautiful Mediterranean sauce, guys. Healthy, delicious, and most importantly, simple. Hey, Maria. Simple, 
is definitely what we like go in our recipes. Maria, you know what this is? What is it? This is the best part of the video recipe. You know what? I mm. agree. That's tasty. Because now we're going to see how good it is. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look. You get this piece, you get and that I'll piece. And I'll get this piece. Okay. I think the best part, Maria, all the vegetables we go. that you use. The flavor. And the natural juices. Yeah. That come out of the lamb. So moist, Maria. So moist. Here we go. Ready? Mmm. 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 That is good. Look, it melted in my mouth, like a butter. You can taste the rosemary and that sage, that hint of sage that comes hint through. Of sage. Mm. What I like is the fact that the ingredients mix each, with each other Mixes so well. They love each other. They're like a big family and, and they that, really get along. What do you think about that red wine? The red wine is <laughs> good to drink, but hey, it is. it's better when you cook it. I tell you. It gives the extra flavor. Well, Vincenzo, you, you're welcome. Please, a big thumbs up for Maria. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this episode. We will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate Video Recipe, hopefully with Maria again. If you want more recipes from Maria, <laughs> more Calabrese recipes, Maria, share with us. Thank you. E ora? E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. Vincenzo's Plate. Oh, Maria's lamb. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Maria. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.